Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Good morning. Welcome to our Workers' Prayer. May God bless all of you and give you strength for you to overcome your problems, overcome your fears. You know, I need to say that you, you, I, myself, we human beings will always be our biggest problems. Because if we change the way we think, we change our lives as well. You're going to watch now the story of uh, Joalani. She, uh, her, uh, her parents passed away and her life became really difficult. You will find out what she did to change her life. My name is Jolana Ramungal. Even though I grew up at church, my life was a mess. After the passing of my parents, I became lot, I had a lot, a lot of anger inside of me because I hated myself and I hated everyone around me. I started going out to the nightclubs, I started smoking dacha, I started drinking, and I started having bad friends in such a way that one day I wanted to commit suicide because I had no peace inside of me because at that time I saw life was so hard for me. And then one day my friend invited me to attend the YPG meetings and that's when I started to know more on how to develop my life and how to become a better young lady. I started attending chains of prayers. I committed myself in the meetings of YPG. I attended the meetings Wednesdays and Fridays for deliverance and then I started to see the change inside of me. It's been four years now, free from addiction, and I'm already starting to complete my studies, and I thank God for transforming my life. Four years clean, completely free. Her life changed because of her faith in God. Your life can change as well. Do not doubt. Make use of our helpline. You can call 24-7. You are going to leave your name in the book of prayer and also ask an advice about where to find the closest UCKG branch around your neighborhood. And there you're going to join us in the spiritual therapy to change your life. Time to talk to God. Have a glass of water at hand. Now prepare your glass of water because it is time for a moment of prayer. Let's talk with God. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are now in your presence. And we believe that the heavens is opened to listen to the prayer of those who are depressed, have been thinking about committing suicide because there is no perspective of a better life. Things are difficult. Things are bad or awkward. I pray, therefore, that you come to touch this life, but, but touch in a supernatural way, so that this desire of, of suicide and depression and sadness can be uprooted at once. I bless this water. I bless their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. I am absolutely sure that God has heard your prayers, He has blessed your life, so dry up your tears now. Don't, don't be afraid, because no matter what, God will not let you down. The journey is difficult, it's not easy, but God, He is by your side, you're going to make it. Enjoy your day until tomorrow with one more worker's prayer to uplift your spirit and bless your life. Until tomorrow, bye-bye. Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer.